Welcome, this is Coding Oak, and this video will show you a web scraper I made with using the Java language. This is a Java Maven project, and what it does is uh, it's like a Twitter clone. Um, although I don't feel like using a, a proxy or whatever, but this uh, this scrapes Knitter. Knitter is like a it's a clone of Twitter and so when you're scraping through knitter you're you're getting uh the most up to date Twitter stuff. So like let's say you have a Twitter account and some people have you blocked or you have them blocked. Knitter is good to use to just see everything that's going on on Twitter. So you don't necessarily need to be logged into your Twitter account or have a Twitter account to see what's going on. So so this application here I made, and the code is up on GitHub, uh, scrapes through Knitter. And we use our base URL here. I'm actually holding down my control key right now just to test something. But um, yeah, this is the, this is the URL to, to search through, um, to search through strings. And so you enter an example string here. I'll enter MongoDB. So we're going to scrape knitter slash Twitter for uh, the most recent tweets that mention MongoDB. And as you can see here, we're just simply scraping through uh, just an, for an HTML element. So first we're going through um, these uh, HTML elements. We're going through the timeline item. I could show you it here. Uh, so if we go through our, um, it likes to mess this up for me, doesn't it? Yeah, so if we go, we use our pointer here and we click on here. The div tag, the timeline items. Yeah, so we're going through all these timeline item, right? All these timeline items. And then what we're doing is, and then we're taking out the tweet body. And you could see the, the div tag there, the tweet body, div, div tag. Um, yeah, I kind of messed this up, but that's what we're doing, going through timeline items. And then we're taking out the tweet body and we're printing that to the console as a JSON string. So I'm going to go ahead and run this program, show you how it works. Give it a second. It's going to make me wait today. Get concerned here. It's thinking. There we go. So these are some of the most recent tweets that mention that have the phrase MongoDB right there, right? This tweet has it, this next tweet here, MongoDB. And we could check it with our knitter here. It's the same tweet right here. We can search another phrase such as, um, let's just set search the phrase Jeff Bezos. See what kind of results we get. These are some of the most recent tweets that mention Jeff Bezos. Let's check that with our scraper. Type that in, Jeff Bezos. All right, let's run that. I like how even the emojis come through here. There you go. You see some of the top tweets here. Let's look at this second tweet here. Jeff Bezos reporter out here crushing it with the hard hitting coverage of the Biden administration. Search here. There you go. There's the same tweet right there. Jeff Bezos out here crushing it with the hard hitting. So yeah, that's... um. A scraper. So right now on the GitHub, I have a Python scraper, 
Twitter scraper and now have a um, Java Twitter slash knitter scraper. So yeah, check it out. Um, and this is the pattern that you use. We use this uh, dependency called HTML unit, right? And uh, yeah. So if you like the video, like and subscribe and happy coding.